And again, I repeat again, you bunch of moron out there. You don't use violence against anybody. Okay, boys, welcome to my channel. Today's video, we're going to watch a short and on that one minute video, that thing resume, resume female nature. And there's so much content in that one minute to understand. And that resume almost what female nature are. I will say maybe a good 50%, which is what a woman it's all about. And most guys are going to listen to this and they're not going to get it. Again, the blue pill guy has been raised by a single mother who the single mother did a terrible job. They're not going to get it. This is what father was so freaking necessary to make little boys and the teenager think like men, not like women, a bunch of pussy. So we're going to watch that little short here, and there's a lot of content in that little short. That just one minute, and most guys are not going to understand it. One minute. So let's get to it. I have a theory as to why so many women are single nowadays and struggle with men. It's because we don't have father figures and we don't have arranged marriages. So you see what you just said? We don't have father figure. On this channel, I talk about that a lot. Our father are freaking necessary. The single mother who raised little boys. Make little boys think like women. Make little boys think with their emotion. And they end up teenager. They think with their emotion. You have to be nice with women, blah, blah, blah. This is horrible. Horrible. And all those women, the feminists that said that men are not necessary. Father are not necessary. I'm a strong, independent woman. Yeah, look, the next generation that you raise. This is freaking terrible. And that little boy, that teenager, that man, that future man, is going to be a blue pill guy, a freaking pussy. And you know what? The next woman is going to go with that, with that, with that man. She's not going to respect him. And the next woman is going to destroy the life of that man that you raise. Your son's going to have a horrible life because of you. See how terrible is someone I said, but I just said the truth. I just said the damn truth. Father of freaking necessary. Very important. So let's keep going here. Typically, what I've realized is that when women are put in a position where they're picking the men, they make terrible decisions. Because since women are emotionally erratic. When a woman pick a man, they make terrible decisions. I make a video about that. I make a video about that, what women nag and complain about. But you know why? It's very simple to understand. When you understand it again. Woman wants to have the emotion going like a roller coaster. Positive emotion, they get they get high, a negative emotion, they get high. They, now they want to go back to a positive emotion, they get high. Women are addicted to that roller coaster of emotion. And what happens when you let your emotion run your life, you end up with your life going down the drain. You need to use logic and common sense to have a beautiful life. You don't let your emotion run the show. And woman, because of female nature, and it's not going to change, they're addicted. They're addicted of their emotion going up and down. That roller coaster of emotion, they love it. That's why they love to make so much drama. They're addicted to it. and dictated by their emotions they're going to go with the guy that can simulate their emotions the best mm -hmm. well what simulates female emotions well we know that there you go so he just said right there women who are addicted that roller coaster of emotion 
is from psychology. It's men that are neurotic, men that have Machiavellian traits, and they're toxic, sociopaths, etc. Women are attracted to... So you see, why women go and are attracted to the bad guy? The bad guy, the horrible man. The guy who's a thief, the guy who's a freaking bum, the guy who made bad decision because their emotion all the time going up and down. And they love it. They love it. And those kind of guys, because their emotions going up and down like a roller coaster, he's going to say it right there. Woman vagina become like Niagara Falls. He's going to say the, the word, they become aroused. That main, that hold on there, become Niagara Falls. Their emotions are going up and down, and they love it. And that thing down there become Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls on steroid. But what happened? They end up with the bum. They end up with the bum. Do you think that that thing is going to work, a relationship with a freaking bum? The one who pick up a fight all the time, the one who steal, the one who's a drug dealer, the one who don't follow the law. It's not going to work because their life, they're going to end up in trouble. They're going to have trouble with the law. And of course, that thing's not going to work. No, they're going to be down there crying. Oh my God, that guy was a freaking bum. He was not nice with me and blah, blah, blah. And they, are, they even around, okay, look, I'm going to say something here. I'm not saying to do that, you bunch of moron out there. The guy who is violent, the guy who's going to take her and shake her, a little slap. Again, you bunch of moron out there. You don't use violence against anybody, man or woman. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just explaining to you that some woman, some of them is going to be aroused by that. And later on, they're going to cry. Oh, he's beat me up. He, he was a horrible man, blah, blah, blah. Again, they want to have that negative emotion. And after that, somebody, oh, you're right. That guy was bad. Blah, blah. And they're going to have that positive emotion. And they're going to have that emotional trip. That's how I call it. Emotional trip. And again, I repeat again, you bunch of moron out there. You don't use violence against anybody man woman cat dog whatever you don't do that because you're gonna end up in jail it's against the law i made myself clear so anyway i'm gonna keep going here what does this outline the bottom line is the guy doesn't give a fuck about the girl yeah women yeah. are attracted to men that don't give a fuck about them <laughs> yeah. however the problem is that though this guy arouses you See, he just used the word arouse. Arouse, that means you've, her vagina is going to become Niagara Falls. That's what that means, the word arouse. Attraction and be aroused, guys, is two different things. You need to understand that. So this is what he just said over here. Women are attracted to a bum. And why do you attracted to the bum? Because that emotional roller coaster thing. So let's keep going. He's not a good long-term partner. The nerd who pedestalizes you and makes you feel... So now, another thing about female nature. The good guys out there. The one who has been raised by a single mother. The nice guys. Women are not attracted to that. And I met a bunch of videos about that. Women are not attracted to guys because they want to be with a strong male figure. They want to, they want to feel protected with a strong man if you don't provide security and of course the money i talk about the money a bunch of time but that security thing you don't feel safe about you they're not going to respect you they're going to shit test you over and over again and you're going to fail that shit test that they threw at you and because of female nature your life is going to go down the drain because you are a nice guy Women said they want to be with a nice guy. That's not true. This is a lie. Female nature, boys. That security part, that woman or arousing, that is just explained on that video. The bum. Why do you want to be with the bum? Because that emotional roller coaster thing, and they want to feel 
saved. That's another another part of the puzzle that was said. When you study female nature, there's another puzzle that you need to understand. You're like a princess, even though you don't deserve to be, because you haven't done anything to earn that for that guy, right? You don't respect that guy because he's pedestalizing you for nothing. You see what I said? That woman don't respect the nice guy. Woman don't respect the nice guy. You have to tell her when she start nagging and wanting to shut up. My last video, I talk about that. You need to understand female nature and put a good time in to tell her to shut up. When she start nagging, whining, complaining because she want to have her emotional trip. You see, guys, female nature is so important to understand that. And don't try to use logic and common sense to understand woman. I repeat that again. This is so important, guys. Don't try to use logic and common sense to understand woman. Because they know there's no logic and common sense. They use the freaking emotion to run their life. Most of them are. Okay, you have exception to the rule, blah, blah, blah. Fine, you got exception to the rule. Who cares? Most of them, the emotion run their life. So you cannot use logic and common sense to understand women. You cannot say, how come she behave that way? Why she do that? I don't understand. I'm going to have to put logic and common sense. It's not working. It's not going to work. A woman going to try to explain the, the behavior and the whole thing doesn't make any freaking sense. Understand female nature and don't use logic and common sense to try to understand women. Because women going to try to explain all the why they behave that way. The whole thing doesn't make sense. Don't try to understand it. You just said in your head, woman or dumb, because they use the emotion, and that's it, that's how it is, they're dumb, end of story, most of them are women or freaking dumb, end of story, why, because they use the emotion to run their life, it's that simple, that's freaking simple, most women are dumb, that's it. Nothing more than the fact you have a vagina. But the toxic guy, he don't respect you at all. But you go ahead and you go with that guy because he's not pedestalizing you. So there you go, guys. He said it. He said it right there. The nice guy. Why women are attracted to the bum? He said it right there. That emotional trip that women crave. Guys, you need to understand that. And we, if you have a relationship, friend, family member, whatever... The, uh, the emotion run their life, your life's going to go down the drain because they're going to drag you in their life and that emotional bullshit thing is going to bring you down the drain. Your life's going to go to hell. So look, we're going to listen to that again. On that part, I'm going to shut up. But there's so much content on that one minute that most guys are not going to understand. Studying female nature, guys, is very important. And it takes years. It takes years, guys. My advice to do, listen to one video a day. We talk about female nature. And over time, which is going to take years, you're going to take all the part of the puzzle, put all the puzzle to, together, and you're going to understand female nature. And because you understand female nature, you're going to understand that don't live with them don't have baby with them as long as the law are what they are today. The risk towards the reward. The risk is too freaking high. So let's listen to that again. Man, that video is awesome. There's so much content on that one minute. So much content that most guys are not going to understand. So I'm going to zip it up here. And boys, let's listen to this. I have a theory as to why so many women are single nowadays and struggle with men. It's because we don't have father figures and we don't have arranged marriages. 
typically what I've realized is that when women are put in a position where they're picking the men, they make terrible decisions because since women are emotionally erratic and dictated by their emotions, they're going to go with the guy that can simulate their emotions the best. Mm -hmm. Well, what simulates female emotions? Well, we know this from psychology. It's men that are neurotic, men that have Machiavellian traits and they're toxic, sociopaths, etc. Women are attracted to these traits because what does this outline? The bottom line is the guy doesn't give a fuck about the girl. Yeah. Women yeah. are attracted to men that don't give a fuck about them. <laughs> yeah. However, the problem is that though this guy arouses you, he's not a good long-term partner. The nerd who pedestalizes you and makes you feel like a princess, even though you don't deserve to be because you haven't done anything to earn that for that guy, right? You don't respect that guy because he's pedestalizing you for nothing more than the fact you have a vagina. But the toxic guy, he don't respect you at all, but you go ahead and you go with that guy because he's not pedestalizing you. I have a theory. So you know what, guys? I'm going to put the link about that short in my video down there. And you need to listen to that video, that little short over and over again, because there's so much content about female nature to understand. There's so much content to understand. And everything that he said down there, this is the damn truth. This is the damn truth about most women. Guys, male nature, female nature. And I say that all the time. Most women out there remove the vagina. As a man, we don't want to be with you at all. The only reason because we want to be with you is to have sex. Is to have sex. So in a way, video is getting too long. So guys, you like that content, like, share, subscribe, boys. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Boys, study female nature. So important. All right, guys, thanks for watching.